Hi, welcome to Lessons with John. Uh, today we're going to try this little light of mine, G. C chord. Back to G. B7, D minor. G to D7, back to G. Okay? So it's a nice simple progression for you there. Um, I'm going to show you some substitutions you can put in there if you want. So uh, G chord, third string and first string, second fret, second string, third fret. You need a C chord, first string, third fret. Uh, you're going to need a B7 chord, bar the whole second fret, third string, third fret. Okay? Then E minor is the first string, second fret, the second string, third fret, the third string, fourth fret. That's your E minor. Uh, let's see. Oh, a D7 chord. Fourth string, second fret, second string, second fret. Okay? Uh, all right, and so let's, uh, let's do some substitutions. Uh, you know, things you could put in there that make the song more interesting. Uh, a chord you're going to need for that is C minor. You bar the third fret, leave the fourth string open. Okay, so that's a C minor, not too tough. There's another, another substitution later on. Uh, I'm going to do an A7 chord. Third string, first fret. Okay, so when you get to those two substitutions, those are the two chords. Okay, that's how you play them. Now you got all the chords you need. So you know how when you get to the B7 part and you go to the E minor? So that's where you do the, substi the first substitution you can do. So I'm going to stay on the G chord and then go to the B7, then the E minor, and then the C minor. Okay, so I'm going to have to change my strum pattern. Uh, we didn't even talk about the strum pattern. So the main strum pattern for the whole song is down, down, up, up, down, up. Okay? So, uh, so and you do it four times on a G, three times on a C, and back to G. Two more times, and then a B7 for one, E minor for one, and then a G for one, D7 for one, and then G for two. And then that brings you right back to G at the beginning, you just start all over again, okay? So that's your strum pattern, nice and easy. Now when you do the substitution, I'm going to just do down, down, up on each one of the chords. So when we get to that B7, instead of going to B7, we're going to stay on the G for a little bit longer. We're going to go down, down, up, then the B7, same thing, E minor, same thing, then the C minor, same thing, then back to our strum pattern, okay? So let me, I'm going to put that substitution in there now. So you got G. C chord, back to G, here it comes, G to B7, E minor to C minor, and then G, D7, back to G, okay, so that's one thing you can do, uh, at the end of the song, when you hit that G uh, for those last two strum, uh, two bars of strum, or patterns, uh, you could just do a G, C, G, so G, C, G, that makes it more interesting too, okay? So that's another thing you can do. Um, after you get through with that, the G, the B7, the E minor, and then the C minor, you could go to an A7, D7, G, C, G. So let's try that one. I'll try and put uh, three different substitutions in now. So here's another way you could play it. So you got G. C chord, back to G, 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 B7, E minor, C minor, A7 to D7, G, C, G, so you could do that too. Uh, at the end of the song, the last time you play it, because it just keeps repeating, uh, you know how you do the G, C, G, D7, G, you could end it like that, so... I just stuck a D7 in there for one strum, so I went. So I did G, C, and then G once, D7 once, and then G for the end. Okay? So that's this little light of mine. I hope it wasn't too confusing, but you know, you don't have to play the same strum, uh, same 
uh, chord pattern for these songs, uh, you can mix them up and do some substitutions. So I thought this one was a good one for that. So because a lot of people play this different ways, and uh, but the the simplest way is is very nice. So if you don't do uh, if you want to just keep it like that, that's fine. Thanks for watching. Play more Ook, and uh, please subscribe.